This adult coloring book has generated over $200,000 in sales and is something you can easily create from home using AI. You can create life-changing money online by creating and selling these coloring books on websites like Amazon. I'll walk you through how to generate ideas using ChatGPT, how to turn those ideas into art using Midjourney AI, and how to piece your coloring book together to list for sale on Amazon. Now, you can estimate how much a product is made based on the number of reviews it has. For example, this product has 25,000 reviews at $8 per book. So we know that they made at least $250,000 in sales from this book. But on average, only about 5-10% to of customers leave reviews, meaning that this product could have made upwards of $2 million if only 10% of the customers left reviews. So now that we know that you can make money by selling coloring books online, first we need to find a topic to make our coloring book about. I'm going to ask ChatGPT for 5 popular adult coloring book ideas and see what it comes up with. A lot of the popular ideas it will come up with will usually involve nature or some kind of animal. I decided to choose the mandala style and asked ChatGPT to make me a title for a coloring book about dogs using this style. I chose dogs because they're the most popular pet in the world and people everywhere love them, which means that there's going to be a lot of interest for my product. Next, I asked what the 50 most popular dog breeds are. Now we have a good list of different design ideas for our dog themed coloring book. With a long list of design ideas, our next step is going to be to head over to Midjourney where we can generate our designs. In order to sell the images we create commercially, you need to have the basic plan for Midjourney which is $8 a month. As you can see, there are a lot of people generating images in the Midjourney Discord, so if you want to have an easier time creating and finding your art, you can simply send a direct message to the Midjourney bot. This will create a private chat room where you can use the same commands as the server chat rooms, but we'll only see the art that you generate. So to create our first image, we're going to type slash imagine and type coloring page for adults, mandala, dog image, then insert our dog breed from the list we created, white background, clean line art, fine line art, and then add HD and AR 2x3. Then just hit enter. Midjourney is going to generate four different designs for us. Below these designs, you can hit the U1 through U4 buttons to upscale a selected design. For example, U1 would upscale the first image. You can select V1 through V4 to create new variations similar to your selected design. For example, V1 will create four new variations of the first image. You can also hit this button to completely regenerate a new set of designs using the same prompt. In this case, I like the first image, so I'm going to hit U1 to upscale it. So now we have our image, which we're going to save to our computer for later. I'm going to repeat this process until I have several designs of different dog breeds from the list that ChatGPT generated. Once you have all your images, you can head to a free website called Replicate to upscale your images and make them a higher quality. This is an important step as the pages of your book need to be high quality, otherwise customers may leave negative reviews. Just drag and drop your image, hit submit, and download the output image, which will be much higher quality. Do this for each design you plan to include in your book. Now that we have all the images, we need to piece them together to create our coloring book. We can do this by using a free design website called Canva. To start, create a design with custom dimensions of 8.5 by 11, which is the standard paper size. Then, drag and drop the images you created using Midjourney AI and add them to a page. Make sure the designs are centered and are a good size. You can also add some borders to your pages using the different designs available in the Elements tab. This is optional, so feel free to play around with different elements to make your book look professional. Once your page is done, you're going to repeat this step creating a new page for each of your designs. After completing this, you need to create a title page, a back page, and a glossary. For the glossary, go ahead and make a new page at the end and add every image to this page and shrink them. Then just add some text below each image describing it and which page it can be found on. So for example, Alaskan Husky, which can be found on page 2. This will allow the reader to find a specific image they want at the back of our book. To create our cover, we first need to go to Amazon KDP Cover Calculator and see what dimensions we need. The dimensions of your cover will be different depending on how many pages your book is. For example, my book is 43 pages and the calculator shows me I need a cover that is 17.34 by 11.25. So create that file on Canva 
and now we need to head back to Midjourney AI to make a thumbnail for it. I had mine be a multicolored mandala of an Alaskan husky with a black background for the cover. Then I just upscaled it like we did earlier and added it to my cover. The right of your file will be the front cover and the left side will be the back cover. For the front page, I simply added my thumbnail and scaled it to fit properly. Then I set the background to match the image color which is black and created a title for my book. For the back cover, I added an example of one of the illustrations in the book and included a short description detailing what the book is about and what the reader will find. If you're struggling with the design process, you can always go to Amazon and look at similar products to get inspiration. When you're done creating your coloring book, simply go to Amazon KDP where you can start listing your product for sale. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this.